Hello everyone, Sara here with Levelistic Living and in today's video we are going to be talking about the five mistakes that Cappadocia should avoid. So stay with me because I'm going to share everything that you need to know. If you have kapha in your body constitution or if you have an imbalance so two main differences but before i get started uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video give it a thumbs up so that i know um that you enjoyed it and i will do more of these kind of videos and also don't forget to leave me a comment with any questions or comments you might have but also if you're not familiar with the terminology vata pitta kav if you're new to this don't worry because if you hang with me for a while you're gonna get more familiar and i have a, um, a quiz that you can take on my website that's going to share with you as accurate as it can be obviously what dosha what body constitution mind body constitution you are obviously i tell everyone that you can get you know uh, the quiz online you can take the quiz online but then ultimately you want to work with a practitioner which um that's also what i do in uh, my program just because you really want to get the details of who you are and how to get the routine down and the diet down and things like that anyway let's get started i'm going to start with you uh sharing a little bit of kapha which kapha is natural dense and curvier and also dense and I, I refer to have your bones you know when you pick up a kid or if you know if you're an adult and you know that you have heavy bones you know that your body frame is just a little bit yeah denser and, and that's okay so that's kapha already in you and so if um, this energy is elevated and that means it goes out of balance. And believe me when I tell you that you can have this in your body type, but you can also energetically not have uh, this predominant energy in your body type, but still due to lifestyle and diet, you can still gain weight and that will elevate kapha dosha. And usually when someone has gained weight, then I go and balance kapha dosha. Okay, so for example, if someone with my body frame, which is not kapha, if I gain weight, then I uh, feel heavier and denser and I start having kapha symptoms, so I have to go and balance kapha, okay? So there's nature, but also nurture. Like if you're nurturing your body type and you keep gaining weight, then you're gonna go and elevate this energy. So today we're gonna talk about the five things that you should avoid doing so the mistakes that a kapha um, tends to do okay so the most important thing that I want you to get at this point is that if you're noticing that this energy is elevated you might be seeing signs of either mucus you know more than often sinus infections or you might be feeling heavy, you might be feeling like kind of like more lazy than usual, like kind of like not wanting to move and what I call it like the couch potato syndrome. And remember, it's not forever, it's temporary and you can totally move that energy and twist it, but you might see signs of lethargy, you know, and also not accomplishing procrastination and uh, not really feeling motivated to move forward with projects or being, you know, change your lifestyle or changing anything in your life, you know. So let's get started with the five mistakes you should avoid. Okay. The first mistake that I see happening with Kafa is snacking you should actually avoid snacking because that's snacking is kapha provoking okay so snacking all the time especially with that body type uh with that metabolism or if you have an imbalance that it will just provoke this this kapha so increase the quality and 
Kapha thrives on two to three meals per day with no snacking in between, okay? So remember, avoid snacking and really make sure that you choose to have regular meals. And Kapha is the only dosha or body type that does amazing with intermittent fasting. In fact, if you don't feel like having breakfast, that's okay for Kapha because Kapha really has a slower uh, metabolism and it really benefits from a little bit of fasting in here and there and you could also include it in your regular practice so two to three meals a day but they need to be meals okay the next mistake that you should avoid is <laughs> napping uh, every day and I know that Kava love 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 their naps and love to sleep more than eight hours they have a hard time like they're not morning morning persons they just like to sleep in and get up pat past 9 a.m you know generally speaking so that's something because that you need to move like you need to change you should avoid napping you should get your body moving you should um go to bed by 10 p.m uh and actually uh, not sleep more than eight hours per night and you should wake up before 6 a.m it's very crucial for kapha in order for that energy to keep being constantly moved and not stagnant so take note of this it might take you a while, but you're gonna get there. The third mistake that I see Kafa doing is kind of being stuck either in, I mean, oftentimes in the past and not changing um, the reality around them. What does it mean? And so what, what I want you to do is to actually change it up. Everything from your environment to moving furnitures around in your house maybe like seasonally or maybe like twice a year i mean i do this quite often but changing the energy getting rid of things going through a, a wardrobe cleanse uh, going through the garage and just getting rid of things that we um, accumulate throughout the years it's very it's a practice it's very beneficial for kapha to kind of keep the energy moving because kapha tends to be stuck and what i mean stuck i don't mean just with their body kind of like they hold on to weight i'm talking also about being stuck in their emotions whether they are uncomfortable or comfortable so we will talk about emotions and how the doshas respond to them in a different video but you need to know that constant changes is very very again beneficial for kapha and you also pretty much you want to consider changing up your environment the, maybe you go to dinner every tuesday at the same place change it up try something new maybe you you need to move your furniture maybe you need to really look at the closet and get rid of it and just i don't know buy new clothes buy new shoes why not very very good take it another route when you come home as simple as that so change it up it will move the energy okay the fourth one fourth mistake is about the regular pr practice of cleansing and the mistake here is not enough cleanse and i'm not talking about like those rigid cleanses um that um like you need to fast for 10 days you need to juice for 10 days i'm just really talking about like seasonally every change of seasons kapha would really benefit from a one to three day cleanse and you can do it with a kitchen cleanse so i have another video i will add it in the link below about the one day ayurvedic cleanse just to allow the transition from one season to another or anytime you are suffering from symptoms of cold or sinus sinus infection like if you're feeling like clogged up in the face then a cleanse might be very beneficial for you the fifth mistake and here we're getting into the nutrition part that I see happening a lot is that dosha, kapha, usually people, they love comfort food, okay? And I love comfort food too, but the mistake is indulging in it. So the practice is to reduce 
creamy, rich, dense food. And I'm talking about like heavy, creamy dairy products or soups or very, yeah, comfort, like hamburgers, fries, let's see, pancakes every morning. I'm just making this up like like very heavy food. You kind of want to shift to light, colorful, something that makes you like colorful, spicy, you know, anything that makes you, that increases those qualities of lightness and spiciness and that wakes you up. Okay, and I know you tend to go for the comfort food. I know that uh, you look at those donuts or you're looking at those croissants or dessert and you're likely to be more prone to, to be called to them than other doshas. But remember, it's a comfort thing for you and you should literally gravitate towards lighter, spicier, more bitter foods, like bitter in terms of like kale and salads and anything gr leafy greens that like cleanse your body all the time. So these are the five mistakes for kapha dosha. And if you have any questions, comment below, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you don't miss any updates and I will see you in the next uh, video next week. Ciao!